people who watch security cameras for a living, what creepy things have you tried to forget? Worked as a harbor master a while ago, had to check the marina's cameras after a boat was abandoned at our docks, I was looking for the owner, I looked on the tape from the boat's first night in the marina, the man who had sailed the boat, and was standing on the end of his boat for 2 hours, barely moving. Then at 1.30am he just walked off the back and dropped into the water. He never came back up. Never found his body. Freaky. S. I used to do it support for a charity that supplied housing and support for homeless people. A large proportion also had mental health issues, so there were a fair amount of interesting events that happened. Being in it, I avoided experiencing most of it firsthand, though I was threatened with being stabbed on about my third day. Anyway, I come in one Monday, and there's an email labeled urgent, saying there was an incident at the stairwell of one of the properties on Sunday night, and could I pull the relevant CCTV footage, and put it on a DVD. I had to do this fairly frequently, I skip through the footage, find the incident usually a fight or blatant drug dealing and burn it to DVD for the police. The email never mentioned what the incident was, so I skip through the footage and watch as a clearly very agitated man ties a rope around a stair rail at the top of the stairs, then his neck looks over the rail and then just casually tips forward over it. The rope flipped him round and he dangled there twitching for far too long before he just stopped. So yeah, that was a fun Monday. They really should have warned you. That's a hell of a thing to just expect someone to watch and record. Warning, we had an incident involving someone who was hung, still wasn't expecting what was on the video. Wasn't a security officer, but I worked at a 24 over 7 gas station for a while. One night my coworker accidentally killed himself while at work, and I made the mistake of watching the footage. He went to the back of the store with a bag of drugs probably cocaine, snorted it and started acting funny for about 10 minutes. He then sits in the back office and gets fidgety slash thrashing around until finally he just goes limp in the chair. He had died of a heart attack and sat there for 5 hours before anybody came in, thought the absence of an employee was strange, and called the cops. It was really weird seeing people come in and act all pussy for the lack of service. They'd just leave thinking someone was lazy, but nah, dude was dead. Username checks out was watching CCTV footage of a parking deck, and on the 9th level there's this guy sitting in the middle of the deck, banging his head on one of the pillars. All of a sudden the guy just stops, and runs to the edge. Without stopping or jumping, he flings himself over the edge. I immediately called dispatch, and told them what had happened. Few days later I was offered counseling for those events. I'm glad you were, a lad I grew up with worked security at a large shopping mall, security get radioed to a jumper, he is first on scene, blood everywhere, body in a complete state, after emergency services left the scene, they washed down the bus access road, and he was ordered back to work, he wasn't offered counseling, or a day off to gather his thoughts, I hope you're doing better now. I work in a retail store, and for a while I worked security here. Watching the security cameras wasn't technically my job, but we were consistently short-handed in that department and the manager was grooming me for promotion, so I got to fill in and watch the cameras occasionally. One day when we were reviewing footage from overnights, we saw this teenager calmly set down his shopping basket, take off his hat and glasses, and just charge at a wall. Hit it head on. He did this two more times. When he was done, his face was a bloody mess, and he put his hat and glasses back on and just left. Where did me write the hell out? Backslash, one day when we were reviewing footage from overnights, we saw this teenager calmly set down his shopping basket, take off his hat and glasses, and just charge at a wall. Hit it head on. He did this two more times. When he was done, his face was a bloody mess, and he put his hat and glasses back on and just left. Where did me write the hell out? Wrong platform I bet. Was a security coordinator for a large electric company and had access to like 80 plus facilities CCTV infrastructures. Was doing maintenance check on some random train station at like 3am. Panned a camera as far to the right as possible to check that it was functioning. And this dude was on all fours eating a deer in the middle of the tracks. Watched him for like 10 minutes and went to get the other guy on shift. When I came back, 
the dude was gone. Ra wound it, and the dude stopped munching on the carcass, wiped the gore off his face, and walked into the woods, like he didn't have a care in the world. Thank you all for the gold and silver. Read all the comments most asked questions and answers that I noticed. Where did this happen? Iowa. Why did you just stand there like a dumbass? Was late at night at a middle of a long shift. Also didn't really process WTF was happening. Kinda forgot I had someone else in the office that could come over and see WTF was going on. What was he wearing? Was kinda hard to tell, as the CCTV was basically filming at the end of its effective view. Looked like he was wearing some kinda heavy outerwear, like something you would work outside in the winter with. It was late fall, so nights were dip into the 30s. Pics or it didn't happen. Part of the job was a very restrictive NDA, as in you can't bring any sort of recording out of the facility. I wasn't even allowed to bring a notepad with my nightly notes out of the office. Plus this was before most people had decent cameras on their phones. We still were using film cameras to do most documentation. He's just on a hardcore paleo diet, nothing to see here. Mostly lots of sex. I've had to turn on the microphone and tell them to stop it or they'll be thrown out of the college gym. I have just started narrating in the voice of David Attenborough. And here we observe the mating habits of young homo sapiens in their natural habitats. I used to work loss prevention for a big box store. We had a lady get arrested for public indecency, and I was asked to investigate. I had to follow her backwards from the point of arrest, and it was a trip to say the least. She arrived at the store swerving, and nearly hitting several cars. She entered the store with two young children, both of whom are mentally handicapped. That lady literally dragged those kids around the store, slapping them and tugging at their ears slash collars, if they didn't obey. At some point she just abandons them in the clothing section, walks through the back doors to the break area, and I'm assuming she thought it was the bathroom, because she proceeds to pull down her pants, and shits all over the fire exit door. She pulls her pants up without wiping mind you, and goes back to the floor like, nothing happened. Someone saw what she did and followed her. Luckily there's an officer in the store at the time and quickly approaches her when the associate tells him what she did. Needless to say, she was definitely high and or drunk and was arrested. The scary part is, she did not mention those kids not one time. It wasn't until I reviewed the tape that I saw they were just still waiting by the shopping cart completely oblivious and afraid to move. Child services was later called and I still think about those kids often. Breaks my heart to think about the bullshit those kids must still be going through. Big box store. For some reason, even though you didn't mention the store, the entire time I was reading this I was imagining a Walmart. I do not envy LP people that have to check the security cameras at Walmart, because I feel like this isn't the worst kind of stuff they could see. I used to do asset protection for a Walmart in a very heroin addicted area. The creepiest thing was seeing how fast someone would go from completely normal to absolutely out of it in the span of a year. Because of the drug, you could build a timeline of their demise through CCTV pictures and video. One man in particular really stood out to me. The first time I apprehended him, he was very polite and intelligent. Just stealing to get his fix. A year later, and the fourth time I caught him, he was basically a shell of man. He tried running from me, and I looked him right in the eyes, and said I know you, Gary last name, please don't run. The look on his face of someone knowing him who he couldn't even remember, will always stay with me. Out of every submission so far, this one really has gripped me the most. I used to do it support for a company that had a lot of heavy machinery moving around inside a big warehouse type area. This giant front end loader would scoop up material and dump it into a hopper. Along the sides of the floor were these huge concrete barriers, I've heard them called jersey barriers and mafia blocks, but they are about 10 feet tall and this one guy's life was ended when the front end loader inadvertently scooped the base of a barrier and landed on one of two guys walking shoulder to shoulder through the plant. I was tasked to review the footage, then make copies. Six of them, to be exact. And then ensure that the footage worked and was self-executable and able to be run from a USB stick. So I had to watch the footage of this guy get killed over a dozen times. I too was offered counseling for just watching the video. 
I was working at pub in Sydney and watching the CCTV when I saw a guy continually cross and uncross his legs while playing a poker slash slot machine. After a few minutes he walked to a corner of the room, took a shit, and proceeded to go back to playing his machine. Talk about being addicted. Edit. Holy shit this blew up. To answer some of your questions, this kind of thing is not rare. Mostly it's people pissing themselves. These machines are evil and designed to get people addicted and that results in some people not being able to pull themselves away, even to use a bathroom. Finally, thank god I'm a manager, but telling someone it was their job sucked. I used to work at a casino and had to clean shit out from and between two machines. Never saw the video, but whoever it was had to have scooped that shit out with their hand to smear it between the machines. Had another guy spell out dark casino name in their own fesses on the bathroom wall. So glad I called in that day. Not a job, but my so, and I have the outlet monitor for our infant looking at his crib band room. It's set up like CCTV and it's creepy to begin with. I wake up at 2am and I go check on him, and I go back to bed. Once in bed I get on my phone to view the monitor, just for reassurance and I see two light dots like eyes in night vision in the window of his room. I first shit my pants and I go in the room to check everything out. I can't see anything outside, so I turn on the monitor again, and don't see the dots anymore, so I think it could be a dog or something. I go back to bed, and wake up again an hour later, to check the monitor and the dots are ducking there again. So I grab a pistol, and go outside around his room and check the spot by the window really ready to have to pull the trigger, adrenaline is on full blast. I don't find, or see anything but the monkey grass has been mashed down by that window like something sat there for a while. I set up a sleeping bag in my son's room after that for a couple nights and I checked the monitor, so I could see what the night vision caught, but I never saw those lights again. I'm super thankful it was just that, but I was scared. Edit. I'm usually skeptical about stuff like this. I considered lights and stuff, and I hope it was an animal not a person ducking messed up person. But my son is now 6 months this happened, when he was 4 months old and the camera has been there, since we brought him home. The whole time it's been up I've never seen that, and I don't live by traffic lights, and no street lamp is on that side of the house. I seriously almost lost bladder control when I saw them again same spot just an hour later, but when I went in his room and looked at my phone I just saw me and him in black window. It freaked me out so much I prepared to defend my family, but he's 6 months now and I've never seen it again. So hopefully an animal. I used to work it at a university and last Easter we had a break in. We found the footage of the guy going in at 2pm, leaving at around 3, and not really taking anything. Fast forward to 7pm and the guy comes back in, and is walking around the auditorium till 6am the next morning. In that time he proceeded to strip into his underwear, steal and wear a mask the Japanese exchange students made for the teacher, and smoke a shit ton. He managed to steal 6 full bags of random items. We've dubbed him as the jack off bandit. When I worked as a security officer it was my first week on the job I watched my boss and another officer try to talk a guy off of the top of our parking structure. Didn't work watched him jump off and land next to an employee who was coming in for her shift. Guy hit the ground so hard it exploded the belt right off of his pants. I will never forget watching that. Jesus Christ, the belt thing is graphic af. That's unreal. What a horrible thing to witness. I reviewed the security cameras around my office building. The cameras only monitor the outside of the building. We have signs posted everywhere stating cameras are watching. You get accustomed to certain movement patterns and activation of cameras, so I don't have to review the whole day's activity, just the parts that show things out of the ordinary. For a while, homeless people were using an R behind landscaping to kick back and smoke drugs. Marijuana, heroin off foil, glass meth pipes, you name it. It's all in full view of one of the cameras. Watched a few drug sales there too. However, the most disturbing by far was the sex. Basically, guys would take the homeless women to that area and do any number of weird and wonderful things. The weirdest of all was when some dude lay on the ground and a drug slinging slash homeless woman sat on a bench looking at her phone. 
He slipped off her flip flop and started sucking off her toes. He took short breaks intermittently to hit a glass meth pipe, then went back to work on the toes. This went on for about 45 minutes, then they left. We systematically found almost all the homeless porn stars during the day and told them our place has cameras and not to come back. Things have been quiet for a few years now. However, the most disturbing by far was the sex. Basically, guys would take the homeless women to that area and do any number of weird and wonderful things. Me, internally, I bet it's foot fetish shit. He slipped off her flip flop and started sucking off her toes. Ducking knew it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more curated daily reddit stories.